So, dear Thai, dear Sangha, again tonight, it's my uh, honor and pleasure to present my uh, limited view on a very difficult subject. And thanks to the uh, feedback of several friends in the Sangha, I uh, was able to uh, readjust my presentation tonight and hope that it will uh, be well accepted. Uh, this is the first slide. What can I do? Is the subject Kapija Fair? As we all know, difficult times, we all go through this in our life. They represent challenges and they are not easy to live. We have to deal with it because it is bothering us. So I hope in my uh, talk tonight, I will be able to examine with you some tracks that have helped me. And I do hope they will be also useful for you. Now I'm going to the second slide. Difficult moments, how do we manage them? As said, it happens in life that we have to face difficult times, more or less long periods during which we have been faced with challenges. Sometimes it is just like a little pebble in the shoe. And sometimes, or most of the time, it is like a wall that stands in front of us. Sorry, I went too fast. I have to go back and do, here we go. When a sudden change happened to me in my life, when everything went smoothly, negative emotions arose in me. First, anger. I was first struck by anger because I feel betrayed. For example, this is personal, but I would like to say it. When my wife obtained an offer of a dream job of her life, she left the city where we lived peacefully, taking all the children with her and I was suddenly left with the big house alone. At the beginning, we told ourselves, this is only temporary. Everything gonna be fine. Well, it took me five years before I found a new job and started a new career in the same city. And the family is again reunited. These unexpected things disturb your routine and your quiet life, and it could make you angry. And bewilderment, you are very confused because you did not see that coming. Fear. Myself, I was not well prepared for the change. Fear invaded me as I do not know how to deal with the new situation. And in the long run, anxiety settled in for a long time. 
sadness. Sadness and doubt were the other negative emotions that come and go. I felt sad being far away from my children and not seeing them daily. And I had doubt about my own capability to adapt myself to a new job if eventually I will find one. So here is my experience that I would like to share with you. Acceptance. The first thing you can face a difficult time is to accept it. Accept how you feel. Accept to be jostle. In French, we use bousculé. The beautiful term in English is forbearance, which has also the meaning of patience in it. You don't have a choice, you must be patient. And one thing you should not neglect, you should take good care of yourself during that moment. You can give yourself moments of respite. In my case, I was very lucky as I was able to attend retreats led by Thai at Maple Village at that time. I was lucky to learn from these retreats how to practice mindfulness when I came back home in my city. Being alone, but I do not feel lonely anymore. I became so busy with my breathing being often aware of my breathing is quite a demanding job. Keep your friends in the loop and maintain your relationship with true friends. I was also lucky in my life. During difficult moments, I was surrounded with true friends. Those friends were so precious as they were available to me. They were there to listen to me, to be there for me, and to give me good advice. I realized how important to have good friends in the five remembrances that we meditate tonight. The number four is what the Buddha taught us about the notion of impermanence. The Buddha reminded us that life can be full of unexpected events. And people we live with today can die tomorrow. Do we take time really to recognize the preciousness of our relationship? True friends, will be there for you. And uh, it keep my moments of anxiety away so I can relax myself to enjoy going out with friends and to be able to have very relaxing moments. Be strong and do your best. Yes, do not give up. We say in French, Lash la patat, as our French Canadians used to say, or like the French islands, you know, Paris, the uh, Paris motto that we spoke in the past, fluctua nec mergiture, the boat tangles, but the boat will not sink. Do your best. And keep telling yourself, things will always be better, which means having faith in life.
And uh, with the practice of mindfulness, I was lucky having a small group of practice in Quebec City at that time. And I keep my meditation practice diligently. I develop plenty of time to reflect on my issue, to stay calm and face it on my feelings, taking care of my thinking. And suddenly something arrived. A flower suddenly blossomed. I was offered a wonderful job in Ottawa. Bingo. I took the offer and moved to Ottawa. And as most of the fairy tale, so I conclude in saying, and he lived happily since. So I am ending up here with a deep bow to you for your listening. And I will turn off the recording and I will invite you to listen to a video clip that I found so good. And I hope that it will entertain you as well. So just relax, sit back and wait for the video clip that appears on your screen. <laughs> 